Also, they did a very interesting study a couple of years ago, 20 years ago. So, question? Uh, they found out that uh, plants, you know, what, you know what a pheromone is? Pheromones is sand. We all give off pheromones. Like, I'm giving off pheromone right now that I'm scared of death. So I'm not going to give it. Pheromone. P H E R M O N E, I think. P H E R M O N E. She probably knows better than I do. Pheromones. Any teachers here? I homeschool. Okay. Better than a teacher. I have other thoughts about that, but I won't say that. Anyway, but plants actually, if you feed them, synthetic fertilizers, they release pheromones that attract insects. So basically you're telling the, the plant is telling insects to come and eat me because I have an artificial, overly lush growth. Where if you feed a plant organic fertilizer, they actually have thicker stem walls and they are healthy and they don't release that scent that says come and eat me. So you have to go buy insecticide? You don't have to buy near as many. In fact, you know, and we'll get to bugs in a second. Isn't that something? You know, so so basically, uh, and also organic fertilizers, you know, miracle Grow has taken, I don't mean to pick on miracle Grow because they've done a great marketing job, but miracle Grow has taken a negative and turned it into a positive, because what's their advertising slogan every two weeks? Um, anyway, they used to have that be their advertising slogan, I don't know what it is now, but the reason it was every two weeks is because it's lousy fertilizer and it doesn't last very long, and so, you know, so they say every two weeks. My, I had a boss once, and he used to use, his wife used to use miracle Grow. And uh, they lived in Northern California, and every winter, the plants would just not winter, but every fall, the plants would die. And they just thought, okay, the plants are recognizing the change in temperature, and they're dying. But then we came out with a product, uh, and his wife started using that, and the plants lasted well into the winter. And he realized that what was happening is the plants were being killed by the miracle grow because of the salt buildup over time. And uh, so, and then over the winter rain, rain could come and wash the salt out of the soil. So, you know, eventually, uh, if you use miracle grow or the synthetic fertilizers, you're killing your plants. What about peat moss? What is that? Is that considered a fertilizer? It's a, peat moss is, is an organic matter. Okay, uh, so it's a compost. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> peat moss will lower the pH though. So, uh, oh, if you're growing peat um, Sorry, is the spot fertilizer a good fertilizer? No. Well, in my opinion, no. So what is it? I spot Yeah. <laughs> oh no. You know, like, yeah. Where do you buy your fertilizer? What do you recommend? You know, you I buy whatever buy. I get free, which is whatever's broken bag in my company's warehouse. So. <laughs> I mean, no, I'll I'll tell you some good ones. Uh, my favorite, the best, and my company only used to start selling this fertilizer. And even before we sold it, it uh, I recommended it if someone asked me, and it's Doctor Earth. Doctor Earth, I think, is the best fertilizer out there. But also, my favorite probably is fish and kelp. But if you spray fish and kelp on your plants, it stinks, but only for a short while. Mm -hmm. But fish is an amazing fertilizer because fish feeds the plant and it also has insecticidal and fungicidal properties. Oh, yeah. So you're protecting the plant as well as feeding the plant and you feed it foliar because when you spray it on the leaves, it's absorbed into the stomata, which are on the leaves, which is how plants breathe. Huh. And, uh, and then it also soaks into the ground and feeds the soil and the plant that way. So can you take, like, if you had a tilapia farm, that water as your fertilizer? That's what, uh, that's what this is right here, which I just put it because it's fun. Yes, it is. And I actually have an aquaculture system in my backyard where uh, I just have a 55-gallon barrel, which I have fish in, and uh, the fish poop in the water, and the water is, goes in pipes where I grow lettuces and other arugula and other salad crops like that. And so uh, that's all the fertilizer they get. And then the plant roots filter out the uh, fertilizers so the water stays somewhat clean. Would be fish water is what you water your... That is so no, cool. I only, That's fascinating. The plant, I have a... Did so I miss something here? Yes. That's so fascinating. <laughs> this is, you know, but not, my system's not perfect yet, like I'll tell you in a second. So, so what I have is I have... A, and this is a very crude system, so I have a 55-gallon barrel in the ground, right next to the house, to uh, hopefully keep it warm in the winter. And then I have little fishies in here. Any kind of fish? Well. Or what kind of fish? Like? I'll tell you in a second. All right. <laughs> sorry, fish. sorry. I'm so excited. And then I have, a, I have a pump in there. And then up here on a table, I have these pipes. And the pipes have little holes. It's a hydroponic system. If you go to a hydroponic store, like Grassroots up in uh, Temecula, great people there. Um, then uh, you have holes there, and then you put these little plugs in there. And seeds in there and then they grow. And uh, 
The roots go down into the pipe, which the pipe, I'm, sure, I'm showing them outside the pipe, but they go in the pipe, and then the lettuce grows up, and then you just harvest the lettuce. And, uh, and on, my little, uh, on my little stand here, I put copper tape around the uh, legs because snails won't cross copper tape. Oh, that way, they have a test free. That's so that's not so the fish. What did you say about snails again? Copper tape. They don't what? Snails will not they cross copper tape. Copper tape. Cross it. Copper tape. So what's the difference between growing the lettuce in water, basically, yeah. or soil? Is there a difference in nutrients in the in the, the final product? I don't know. Probably. But uh, fish fertilizer is a great, fish poop is a great fertilizer in the sloughing off of the fish uh, scales and stuff. makes a great fertilizer. You know, the Indians used fish as a fertilizer a long time ago, and although you're not using whole fish, you're using fish byproducts, and the plants grow fine. So obviously all the nutrients, essential nutrients are there. And uh, so I don't know the percentages because I haven't analyzed it, and I haven't studied aquaculture that much. But to fish, I actually tried to grow tilapia, and that way I could, um, I could actually eat the tilapia when they got big enough, and then I'd replace them. But uh, I didn't, uh, it got too cold and it killed, killed twice. Now I have a heater for the tilapia, but um, I haven't got tilapia yet, so I'm going to get them in spring, when it, so here in the next couple weeks, and one second, and, uh, and then they'll survive. Right now I have goldfish in there, my kids want some goldfish something. And, uh, Oh, okay. So could you could you take like if your child has a goldfish tank inside the house and they empty it and 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 change the water ever so often? Can you basically take that water and throw it on your plant? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I mean, unless you have a lot of chemicals in it, additives, okay. but even then the percentage wouldn't be enough. You got a question back there? Hmm. Um, now the barrel is outside. Yeah. It and, doesn't and have a lid. It doesn't. I have one for it, but I never put it on. And no cats. Do you have any pets? I have. A, there's. Yeah, I have a dog. I have a dog, a tortoise, uh, three rabbits, uh, chickens. Uh, <laughs> now, do, don't the dogs no, 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 spread all your stuff? Don't they go eat it? I can't keep it? track. Don't the what? Don't the, doesn't the dog go eat your stuff, like the the organic matter that you put in your yard? When I spray fish fertilizer with the dog, it goes nuts. Yeah, loves it, but he can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> it's too fine. And uh, for the most part, uh, the fertilizer, uh, no. I have a good dog. I beat him often. No, I don't. <laughs> I have really good dogs, too. But a crazy lady in my yard one time, and she said, well, your soil's best. She put all this stuff down, and it did help. But the dogs eat it, and they get a lot sick. Of, a lot of fertilizers use meat meal, which I think, I mean, and they're organic fertilizers, but if when you look at the fertilizers, trying to avoid a fertilizer with meat meal. Okay. The best, like Dr. Earth uses uh, mm. fish bone meal, which is a higher quality bone meal than just cow bone meal. Uh, he uses fish meal as his base, where most organic fertilizers use a dried poultry waste or chicken poop as their, as their base, which isn't bad. You know, I have chicken, so I use, uh, I make ground fertilizer as well. But uh, I also use Dr. Earth. And uh, Dr. Earth has, all the, has a lot of Biology added into it too, so it's a great, it's probably the best fertilizer out there. That's why. I Where really do you like get it? it? Good question. I I know down in San Diego, but uh, no one here. I think probably uh, L and M might have it. Okay, this might. Be I know that hydroponic shop has some of it too, over grassroots. Sorry. This might be a bad question, but no such thing is there. So I, so, yes, there is. and right now I'm new to all of this, but I have cow poop and goat poop and all the different poops. <laughs> Did you have steer or dairy cow? A steer. Okay. steer. Is that bad? It's high in salt and it's not near as good as dairy cow. Oh, really? It's, I mean, it's not bad. <clears throat> okay, good to know. So it's if bad, I, so when you're talking soil and composting with your dries and your greens and all of that, yeah, just, that's different than mixing in my no, it poop it all at all? Together, absolutely. So the poop's the fertilizer mixing in with the compost. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Mix it all together. Okay. Because the compost, you want your compost pile to heat up, and it doesn't heat up unless you have the right ratio, and the fertilizer helps it heat up because it adds ammonia to it, which starts the process. And okay. I've had piles so hot, you know, it'll burn, it burned my hand, so which is the goal, because you want them to get up to 140 degrees where uh, it'll kill the weed seeds. Mm -hmm. but, uh, and if your pile it. has gray or looks like moldy, are you not turning it enough? You should probably t yeah, turn it more, okay. but sometimes the mold is a good thing, depends on which mold it is. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> All right.